Hello all, this is Scooby331. I want to talk to you folks today about Moore, which is uh, the mother of all rallies. It's going to be going down in D.C. in six days. Um, this is basically just, uh, I don't want to say it's a last call, but this is a call basically for folks to come down to Moore. It's a patriot rally. It's not a right-wing rally. I'm not right-wing. Uh, it's not a white supremacist rally. I'm an off-brown myself, uh, I guess maybe tan, I don't know, I never really thought about it, this is only something I've had to really dwell on in the past few months, maybe a year or so, since, you know, since all of you uh, people went crazy, uh, specifically my fellow New Yorkers, with uh, this insanity you folks have with identity politics. Uh, FYI, the rest of the country actually doesn't like us because of you folks with your craziness. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Well, anyway, uh, what this is about, this is about us uh, all getting together down in D.C. Uh, to show solidarity, uh, support our country, support our flag, support our constitution, support our president. It doesn't have to be in that order. It can be in whatever order you want. Uh, don't have to even support all those things. You know, if you really don't want to, it's, it's a free country. I'd rather you don't come down there to protest. I mean... I just, to me, I, I don't understand that. It's kind of selfish. You have people that are going down there because they like D.C. They they want to be in D.C. They want to experience everything that this country has to offer. It's, it's supposed to be a repository of the finest art, science, and achievements our country has ever accomplished. That's why it's our nation's capital. And... I just don't understand the point of going down there and acting like a jackass trying to, you know, ruin everyone else's good time. That's just, <laughs> that's, to me, that's selfish. I just can't understand it myself. So I just, I, I don't understand the rationale that some of you folks have. Uh, patriots like myself are going to be going to more. Uh, juggalos are going to be going to uh, the Juggalo March, which is... Uh, Osama's administration decided to declare these folk gangbangers. Uh, I grew up in New York. Trust me, juggalos are not gangbangers. I've dealt with real gangbangers and not juggalos. Juggalos are tough. I'll give them that respect. Uh, I've seen these guys, you know, really throw down and they can handle themselves a lot. But they're not gangbangers. Being tough does not make make you a gangbanger. Okay? Just let's let's get that out there right now. That that does not make you a gangbanger. You know, being a tough guy. So juggalos are not gangbangers. You know, that's, that's just a stupid thing to say. Uh, they're having their march the same day. I think there's an hour difference. And then the uh, other thing that's going on is, I think in the morning, Black Lives Matter is having a rally. <sighs> Which, you know, I'll be honest, I don't particularly care for Black Lives Matter. It's just, it's no shit, excuse my language, that their lives matter. I hate saying all lives matter because I understand that was the counter thing to black lives matter, but you know what the hell's the matter with you people? All lives matter. You know, I don't want to sit here and say life is sacred, you know, because we do wear leather and we do eat animals, so you know, that kind of throws it out there with the whole all life is sacred thing, but I'm just saying what the hell's the matter with you folks? You know, black lives matter. No, no shit. All lives matter. That's just common sense. But and they're having their march and then the other folks that are having their march are Antifa I believe are having a march I'm not sure there's supposed to be four marches going on simultaneously uh, no one in my luck is probably either Antifa or the feminist that's a coin toss over which one of them I'd rather deal with I see them on like at least a daily basis I not like organized running through the streets causing mayhem, but I, I, I see f feminists and Antifa members, oh God, every day, easily every day. I, I'd really rather not see them down there. I don't see the Black Lives Matter people as much because, I don't know, I, I guess black activists relax a lot more when they're not, you know, at one of these rallies because you don't really see them wandering the streets. But I, the point is, more is going down in six days. A lot of us are going there. We're patriots. I'm not right wing. You know, you're going to see me probably wearing this getup. 
Don't come up to me and start screaming at me about Nazi or xenophobic or any of that garbage. I ain't interested. Okay? Uh, I'm there because I support this flag behind me. I support the man in the White House. I support our Congress and our Senate when we get them to actually work. That's part of the thing. You guys have a problem. Instead of sitting there dressing like Walmart ninjas running through the streets trying to hurt people, get off your ass, go to the village hall, go to your town hall, go to your county hall, whatever, you know, what county seats, excuse me. Go to them when they have their meetings, sign the book, and go in and, I don't want to say protest, but actually contribute. You know, I, I have to be careful how I say it because I've seen some of these videos with you idiots. You're supposed to be at a town hall and supposed to be getting things done. You start singing, chanting, hooping and hollering and doing all sorts of insanity. It's not a baseball game. It, this is an actual, you know, meeting. You're trying to get things done. Now you sit there and you disrupt the meeting. You know what happens? Nothing gets done. And then you sit there and you rail in the streets how nothing ever gets done. Well, if you're causing nothing to get done, what right do you have to complain? that nothing's getting done. You don't. So instead of being a disruption, help the problem. And what I mean by help the problem is be part of the solution. Be helpful. Don't enhance the problem. Try to be a solution. Don't try to be a catalyst. That's all. It's common sense. Do you folks in Antifa and Black Lives Matter? What you should be doing I see a lot of the mothers doing this for these respective groups. I don't know, I haven't seen any Antifa mothers really, but I've seen the Black Lives Matters. They actually go to the county seat. They go to the state assemblies. They go to these... They actually do it the right way. Now, you rich white liberals in Antifa, and there's a few black folks in Antifa, two people of all color. I don't want to monolith Antifa, but I mean, look, let's be honest. Let's, let's lay all the cards out on the table. You rich folks... You go out and you're acting like lunatics in the street. This, this, this isn't the Bolshevik Revolution. There's nothing like that going on. What's going to happen is they're going to look at the different videos of all this stuff going on. And they're going to take the facial recognition software. And they're going to look at what each person is doing. And just like that idiot over with the huge eyebrows up over in, I think it was Berkeley... That he bashed in that poor kid's head that was wearing that Sriracha hot sauce shirt. Yeah. Same thing's going to happen to all of you. Just like those morons that went and tore down that Robert E. Lee statue down in uh, Virginia. That, <laughs> that bothers me beyond belief that they went and did that. You know what? That was paid for by taxpayers. I don't give a shit what you people have in your head about Robert E. Lee. You call for a referendum. You vote. You take the thing down that way which there's no point in it. I was raised, as, you know, from an immigrant family, by the way. My family's only been here since the late 1930s. But I was raised that those statues were put down in the South, not as a way for the Confederacy to celebrate, which I'm sure that part of it was, too. I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke here. But it's also it's like a reminder. Like, you screwed up. Look at this thing. This is what you did wrong. Now... Going and tearing down any statue, anything erected by the taxpayers, there's a reason it's there. You crazy people went and put a statue of Lenin over in Seattle. They don't even have any statues of the man over in Russia, as far as, I'm, as far as I know. So, that's all on you. But the thing is this. It's not your property. You see, I was talking to uh, one of the, the people that I'm going to be going down to more with and he was saying how oh, he had a problem with anyone burning a flag which I do too but I'm gonna stress this to you folks right now if a person buys a flag buys a light of food buys the matches what they do with all three is their own damn business much as it bothers me but if you take my flag which is behind me that's my property which I paid for and I have the receipts for you see it's my property and you're not allowed to do that because then it's theft it's theft and destruction of personal property you broke the law that's how that works and what I told him is because we're going to be, D be in D.C. and you're protected. As far as I know, the law might have changed, but what I always knew since I was a kid, one of you idiots goes and takes a flag off of a flagpole, which is state property, and brings it down, and we're in D.C., they're allowed to beat the hell out of you. I just want you kids to know that. 
because if you go and you start taking flags off of flagpoles, they're going to kick your ass. Have a nice day, folks.